Hey guys, Ben from Men's Game Time. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy's Duel. That's the last time we dueled against Nystro as Yuma and won. He had a pretty good deck going, but in the end we were able to just counter anything that he threw at us. And for winning the duel, we made it to the semifinals of the uh, Dueling Carnival Tournament. And on top of that, he gave us his Excalibur card, which he at one point used against us, but we were able to counter it. So that was a really cool thing he did. And so this time we're in the semifinals. And we're going to be dueling against Shark again in Duel of Destiny. So this will be a lot of fun. Let's get started. The night before the semifinals. So this is Vetrix. Excellent. Everything is unfolding like I planned. By tomorrow, I can begin the final phase, and all numbers will soon belong to me. Seriously? Like, there were a hundred number cards. You found like 70 something of them because we actually no you probably found like 90 of them because we've only seen like a couple of them that's the thing we've only seen like utopia terabyte um leviathan and a couple others so yeah, if, yeah i mean if you found like 90 something number cards that would be cool that'll help out a lot i was forced to use trey quattro and quinton to reach my goal but i had no other choice now that they're out of commission, I'm turning elsewhere for help. Vetrix. I've been expecting you. As you know, a seed of darkness was placed in your heart during your duel against my son. Alright. You thought you had overcome this darkness, but you were wrong. The seed will grow until it seizes control of you. Then you'll use its darkness to destroy your next opponent, Yuma. Meanwhile, Yuma visited Hart. Hart is asleep. I do not believe he is simply sleeping. It appears that Hart is unconscious. Yuma, can you hear me? Whoa, it's like you're talking right into my brain. I have a favor to ask. Will you please save Kite? My brother is going, growing weaker all the time. I want to save him, but it's impossible. I don't have the power. That's why I need you to save him for me. Wait, don't go. If we could free Hart from his present state, there is a chance he could return to normal. What do we have to do to free him? I am not sure, but remember that Kite has claimed that he collects numbers to save his younger brother, so... Yuma, someone approaches. So this is Dr. Faker. Again, welcome to my domain, Yuma Tsukuma. I am the notorious genius, Dr. Faker. You're Dr. Faker? I've heard of you. You're Kite and Hart's father. That's right. What a pleasure to meet the son of Kazuma Tsukuma. And your associate, the original number. Oh, this is interesting. Why are you trying to collect numbers? It was all part of the agreement that I made with uh, Barian, Ro Barian World. Hmm. What do you know of Barian? I know that it is dis it is a distant world that is quite hostile to your own astral world. I agreed to destroy astral world for the Barians, and in exchange I will receive unimaginable power. Then I can conquer the Earth and rule over it. That's sick. You forced Kite to become a number hunter just so you could get power? Kite and Hart are both suffering because of you. How could you treat your own kids this way? My son's well-being means nothing when compared to the power within my grasp. I'm, I'll willingly sell out anyone to gain such power, like I did with your own father, Kazuma. A true genius like me cannot allow lesser creatures to stand in my way. You're still going to gonna have to get past me. That that will be easy. You're destined for destruction, Yuma. The same way Astral World is doomed. All right, so a lot of stuff was just dropped there. <laughs> so the World Duel Carnival semifinals we're about to begin. So it's going it's gonna be a dynamic day as we prepare to launch the thrilling World Duel Carnival semifinals. We're down to the fi our final four, the survivors 
will now face off to see who becomes the first World Duel Carnival champ. The stadium is about to get hotter than a barbecue grill as Svetrix goes toe-to-toe -to -toe against Kite while Shark aims his sights on Yuma. What's up with Shark? He looks strange. Hey Shark, is everything okay? Yeah, I mean, like, he's got the mind control eyes and all that stuff. Dot, dot, dot. He didn't react. Something's gotta be wrong. So yeah, he's got the whole mind control eyes going. So yeah, he's under Vetrix's control or whatever. So yeah, a lot just dropped on us right there. So yeah, we now know Dr. Faker's plan is to destroy Astral World so he can get power from another world and all that stuff. So yeah, a lot going on. Uh, let's go with Scissors. Nope. He's going to go first, so that works out anyway. But yeah, a lot dropped right there. So... Let's see what cards we have. Seems like a similar deck than last time. So he's going to summon his shark and play a face down. Alright. So what should we start off with? I don't want to activate anything quite yet. Although I assume it's referring to Mystical Space Typhoon, yeah. Alright, so in the extra deck we have our Utopia Ray. We've got Utopia, Terabyte. And then we got uh, Excalibur and Gaga Ga Cowboy, so. Hmm. This is a good card. I might want to summon him over over Utopia. I don't know. We'll see. It, I think it, may, it might depend. If, um, if Shark gets out his XYZ monster before me, then definitely do that. Um, so we got... Uh, what's this card? Uh, impenetrable Attack. During your battle phase, the battle phase activate one of these effects. Target one monster on the field. It cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects during this turn by during this battle phase. You take no battle damage during this. Okay, so I can choose one of those. I got Wabuku, I got Mystical Space Typhoon, and I got Gogu -Go Golem. Um, let's start with Gogu -Go -Go Golem in defense mode. It won't be able to get destroyed. And then we'll just play Wabuku face down just in case. And we'll enter in there. Actually, no, we'll play um, Mystical Space Typhoon uh, in face down mode as well, just in case he has a card. So, there we go. Um, and then after this turn, we'll summon either Utopia or something else, depends. Um, I might need to use the Wabuku now, actually. It depends. Uh, yeah, let's activate the uh, Wabaku. Just so that way we can uh, make sure our Go 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 Golem is safe. Uh, I think I'll summon Utopia now. Um, Call the Haunted, excellent. So, let's see, I'll play Call the Haunted face down now. I'll summon my uh, Grand Rim just because it's like I'm not going to use it ever. So, and Gaga Ga Magician can help synchro or not synchro, but X Y Z whatever I want later. So, uh, Utopia. Wait, why am I? Okay, that's weird. Um, Scalibur is in off. You know, I think it's like Warrior type monsters. I'll have to look into it. But yeah, so Utopia anyway. I was going to summon him anyway. So. And we're going to put you in attack mode. Now, let me, um... Yeah, two level 4 warrior type monsters. And so I'll need specific cards to summon him. And this is a spellcaster. Okay. So, when this card is normal summon, you can target two fish monsters in graveyard shuffle those. When this is normal summon, you can increase the levels of all... Alright, so I don't have to worry about um, if this card attacks the defense position monster. Okay, we'll attack that instead then. So, go ahead and attack this. Uh, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, target that monster and banish that target. Yeah, no, I'm gonna Mystical Space Typhoon that. Thank you very much. And never mind, it just happened anyway. 
Sometimes I don't understand why it, like it, it, it like it's like that. You know, you think that like the purpose of me having cards that destroy spell and traps is that it stops the activation. I don't know. Like that's the thing. It's like I just never really understood that. All right. Um. Don't know exactly what I should do right now. He's got like three monsters and all that stuff. I want to save the Call of the Haunted for something good, but at the same time I have nothing right now, so... Yeah, I Call of the Haunted... Um, this card, because it's going to go in attack mode, and this has a higher attack than anything else on the field. Except for that. Alright, fair enough. And he's got a Call of the Haunted as well for his shark. This is not... Oh, and it's direct attacking. And he's gonna combine those into Shark Drake. Okay, so this is not going well at all. So, yeah, this is bad. Um... Play both of these face down. Right. Once per turn, when this card, attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can detach one material special summon the destroyed monster to your opponent's side of the field and destroy it again. Okay. And then we'll summon Gaga Ga Magician because I can like activate both of these, I think. So, I'll keep it alive. Yes, I'm going to activate this. And that. And then I'm going to also activate this. And activate that effect. So now I'm double protected. My life points don't get destroyed. My monster doesn't get destroyed. Although that was just for that one turn. So it's like I need a backup plan. Alright, Magician, you go into defense mode, and we're just gonna end turn there. This is, this is probably gonna be a loss. We'll see. Okay, you got one of those Okay, yep, that's a bad one. That's, that's the uh, dangerous one right there. Oh yeah, he's gonna bring that back. It's gonna have like zero. It's, yep, this is it. Um, Twenty three hundred, and then I can save it. So let's yeah, let's try and save it. Uh, go go go, Gollum in attack mode. Although it's gonna do it anyway, so that way I can activate the effect. And I have a zero attack, so I need a miracle right here. Alright, let's see here. When this card is summoned, change the battle position of this card. It cannot... If this card is on the field is destroyed... Um, you know what? I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to summon him, right? And then I'm going to XYZ my Utopia from these two. I think I'm going to be okay. Here's why. I have less than a thousand life points left. And so what I can do is play it in attack mode. That gets rid of the octopus. And now, uh, let's see here. So, da -da -da -do. Uh, so... You can detach one material from this card, it gains 500 attack, and if it does, one monster your opponent controls loses 1,000. These changes last until the end of the turn. You must have 1,000 left to activate the effect, so this becomes 3,000. His monster becomes 1,800. So, yeah, let's do it. There we go, I'm saved. Woo. I mean, it's not, like, set in stone right now, but it's like... I think I can come back from this right now. Activate effect. I'm going to uh, detach 
my utopia so that way maybe I can get it back. Battle phase and attack. And there we go. Whew, that was that was rough, but we managed to survive, so fingers crossed that uh, all goes well in the next tur couple turns. Once per turn, you can special summon one level four. Uh, okay, you got some sharks. Oh no! Well, that's not good. All right, how do I deal with that? Hmm. I don't want to activate the effect again, but the problem is... Alright, I'm gonna... Alright, so apparently I can't put it back in defense mode. Interesting. Oh wait, maybe it's because of this card. Uh, cannot change battle position. Alright, how do I deal with that? Because this is gonna get destroyed, right? Like, no matter what, it's getting destroyed. Um... I got my magician. Hmm. Let's see here. I have another utopia. This is a warrior that's Okay, let's summon the Magician, right? Okay, I can't... Hmm. This ain't good. I have nothing that can, like, counteract that effect, so Magician, just destroy the shark. And, I mean, attack directly, yeah, nothing, okay. Hopefully, right, that's the thing, it's like, like no matter what he summons, it's going to be strong enough to end the duel, so. There's got to be something i got to have somewhere. Soul Charge, you're getting your Shark Drake back, as well as four cards, five cards, Hold on, you're summoning five whole monsters. That's a little overkill right now, okay? You don't really need five monsters. Right? You only need one. But fine, you can go ahead and do that. Take 5,000 damage. That's fine. Are, are you serious? Can't conduct a battle phase. Dude, you just... I think you just threw the duel right now. Dude, I think he just threw the duel. Are you serious? Depending on what the face down is, however, okay, right? If that face down is a mere force, that is, that is death right there for me. However, right? Utopia. Actually, no, he... I'm... Please tell me he just threw the duel because he wanted to overkill my monsters. Please tell me he just did that. Right? Because 2,500 attacks, uh... 1,600, right? Uh, we'll just take that as an example, right? So, 1,600, that's like 900 life points right there. Are you serious? Did you just throw the duel to me? Fingers crossed. I mean, like, if that's a mirror force, that's it. But, I mean, like, if you threw the duel... He threw the duel! He actually threw the duel! <laughs> like, seriously, if you had only summoned one less monster shark, you would have won this duel. But, no, you got greedy, and you summoned five whole monsters. You wasted your entire life points. All you had to do was summon your Shark Drake, you know, and then next turn you would have been able to attack my Utopia and win the duel. 
Actually, no, well, scratch that because I could have activated uh, Utopia Ray's effect and then act, then attack with regular Utopia. But still, the point is, you still would have had a fighting chance at that point. But you went and just spent all your life points to summon five monsters. And then I just end up winning the duel anyway. Wow. That is some really, really bad AI right there. I, let me tell you. Just, like, if that was a human player, or just, like, a person, they wouldn't have done that, you know? So that that's just a case of, like, bad AI. But, hey, a win's a win at this, you know? Like, that's the thing. It was very back and forth. All right. Shark, are you okay? I'm fine. You saved me. My soul could have been lost forever, but you never gave up on our friendship. Vetrix tried to use me to hurt you and Astral, but in the end, I never gave up on our friendship either. Okay, so maybe that's why he did it. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't give up on our friendship, and so he was like deep down inside knew I had to win this thing, and so he threw it. I don't know. Just promise me this: that you'll defeat Vetrix for good. So there we go. After that, the only way I can really ah, just describe it is miraculous. After that miraculous victory right there, with Shark throwing the duel to, to us, we have been able to move on to the last round of the tournament, but I don't think that really matters, because next time in Spear of Fear, we're going to be... Um, Dueling against Vectrix himself, so that will be a interesting duel to take part in. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.